깨봉. Here we have an equilateral triangle. If we fold it in half, this angle becomes a right angle. A triangle with one right angle is called a right triangle. The most famous right triangle is the one created by folding the equilateral triangle. Today, we'll learn about this right triangle. Let's look into the angles and the lengths of the edges of this right triangle. Since we folded it in half, the two edges overlap. This edge was halved. Of course, the angle is 90 degrees because we folded it in half. This angle is 60 degrees. And these angles are 30 degrees each because we folded 60 degrees in half. 369 right triangle. A triangle created by folding an equilateral triangle is a 369 triangle. Now, the most important idea is the relationship between the lengths of the edges. Since we divided it in half, this length is half of this length. In this triangle, the hypotenuse is the longest. The shortest length is where the crease is. Why? The opposite angle, which is 30 degrees, is the smallest. The hypotenuse, which faces 90 degrees, is the longest. Then, the edge that faces 60 degrees is the second longest. But we know that the longest edge, which is the hypotenuse, is two times as long as the shortest edge which is the edge facing 30 degrees. It's because we folded it in half. So, if this length is 1, and this length is 2, then the length of the height should be between 1 and 2. We'll learn in depth about this height a little later. To review, we create a 369 right triangle by folding an equilateral triangle. Also, the ratio of the short edge to the long edge is 1 to 2. For example, walking along a 30 degree incline of 100 meters is equivalent to going up 50 meters. Why? because it's half the length. If we walk along a 30 degree incline, it's 50%. So walking along a 45 degree incline is over 50%. If we see a 369 triangle, we have to quickly picture an equilateral triangle. Why? Because it was created by folding an equilateral triangle. We should be able to locate a right triangle inside an equilateral triangle as well. Here, we use the 60 degrees since we're dealing with an equilateral triangle. If we fold it in this way, we form 60 degrees. Then, the triangle form becomes an equilateral triangle. Why? Every angle is 60 degrees. 
The three edges are all equal in length. But the hypotenuse was twice the shortest edge. So this edge and these three lengths are all equal. Now, let's look at this triangle. It has 30 degrees, 30 degrees, and 120 degrees. Then, let's look at this in terms of the things we already know. If we look at 30 degrees, we should be able to think of a 369 right triangle. So, we fold this triangle to visualize two 369 right triangles. Folding always creates a right angle, right? Aha! Uh -huh. This edge is twice as long as this length. Why is it twice as long? We already looked at it as an equilateral triangle. If we're given a problem with 15 degrees, we can answer it quicker if we think about it as 30 degrees. That's it. Gebong. Gebong.